The fact of the matter is, is that we don't have the expertise for, um, in um, the current land management sectors to look after the landscape the right way because, you know, we're, we're with a landscape now that's just full of fuel and, and it was just backed up to the communities. And, you know, we've been saying, you know, you, you talk about climate change, um, ringing the climate bells. You know, I've seen elders ringing the, uh, the bells of, um, for this happening for a long time now, even longer than, you know, 20 years or more. And we've seen it on TV year after year, watching the, the, the everything burning down south here. And even up north, we get the similar fires. And we need to start training people to read landscapes, understand the soils, um, understand when to burn the right ecosystem at the right time. And we're also facing a different um, time now where we have vegetation that doesn't belong to this country. So we have um, lantana and other weeds, but we also have flammable natives that don't belong in certain ecosystems that come out of uh, um, uh, ecosystems that don't have fire, which is a very flammable plant. And when we burn the incorrect way of, say, if we just do hazard reduction and say, like, let's just get rid of the fuel, um, a lot of the times, um, a lot of those programs burn too hot on the soil. And what we get is these invasive um, natives coming up that are so flammable, and we don't get the right vegetation in the right ecosystems, which depend on the right fires. And that is science. Could, could things be different now if we followed these practices? If we follow these practices, it's going to provide hope. And it's going to provide training. You know, I'm talking three-year training programs, you know, and we have Aboriginal communities all over Australia that are willing to help practitioners. Can, can, can you explain, though, what we should be doing differently, practically? Because the Prime Minister says that he is open to hearing about traditional practices when it comes to land management. What would you say to the authorities that we could do ahead of next summer? I would say jump in the passenger seat and let us drive for a change. <laughs> um, and when you're in the passenger seat of the car, that means we don't leave you behind. And it's just too often that we're never even in the passenger seat and we get left behind all the time. And it's just, just once in this nation's history, can you just listen to Aboriginal people, a knowledge system? You know, there's an intelligence there and we, we, we have all this information for looking after the environment and we're not being tapped into. And it's so frustrating. And one of the, the key elements in all of this is that the land management practices of Aboriginal Australians is something which has to be front and centre in our thinking. I mean, New South Wales at the moment has four land management agencies, Crown Lands, councils with their reserves, state forests and national parks, um, all with different objectives. So, and so the Royal Fire you, Service yeah. over there, and yet nobody is talking to, you know, particularly at a local level, to Aboriginal people yeah. about Absolutely. exactly what... what so, Victor, Victor have you had any approach from state or federal government? I have no um, approach from any of the politicians at all. But I can tell you what, though, out of this fire, um, you know, there's been incredible awareness of Indigenous fire management for the general public of Australia, but not only in Australia, but the world, that is looking in now that we need to have change. And we need change right across the board. This is not dissecting the problems with our environment or the disasters that we're having now and going, well, it's all about not managing the country. Oh, no, it's not about climate change. It's everything above. It's all about all of it. And we need, to, we, need, we need the scientists to help us to reduce the emissions, and we need to get communities and people out on country and learning about the environment and reconnecting with landscapes again, just the way Aboriginal people have done for thousands of years. Okay.